2D Cap 26 here. Welcome to part two of War of the Worlds painting the ship, the spaceship. And uh, we got the front all lens taped up. And we're taping this lens right here. And see, we taped and did the circle. What we did was we laid a piece of blue tape down and cut around it with the X Acto knife. We have to do that one over. So that's where we are right now. You just put the tape on there and you rub it so you can see the impression and you cut around it like so okay just keep cutting around it until you find the edge then you peel it off on a 45 like this and you got it covered so when you go to paint um, you don't paint the lens I might have to do that a little bit a little bit more there so the impression is right there you have to cut around that with the exacto knife so you peel it off like that and you covered therefore you covered the lens and there's a little hatchway here, so that's going to be have to be painted like a silver right there. Now I got to do the tips, the ends of these right here. We got to do. So you end up with a tape model like this. These are taped. This is taped. All the lenses are taped, you know, lightly. And when you pull that tape off after you spray paint and get done with spray painting, you want to uh, be very gentle because you don't want to pull the parts out of um, where you glued them so spray, spray painting is next so we're back and we're mixing paint here for this base this is uh, the ocean so we're going to put some blue in here and uh, a drop of white make sure always to shake your bottles drop of white get a stirrer here stir this up Uh, it's got to be a little bit more white than that, lighter than that. So let's make that a little bit lighter. I'll show uh, just, uh, spraying it next. So we've got this adjusted. Let's see on this tissue. We want to get it light. Okay, so let's spray the base. Just go along. Spray it. And uh, get a cotton ball out and just dab it like that. So that's uh, the base. We're gonna do the base. So I'm gonna finish that up. So we're gonna put uh, some cotton in the airbrush here, and we're gonna just do some um, highlights. the paint back in the airbrush so now we're gonna
we're going to continue with that and we'll show you later. So now we're taking the tape off the land area here on the globe, on the globe and we're going to dry brush all this in here. So that's what we're going to do next. A little paint goes a long way so we've got a uh, brush here with some green and we're going to go along and just dry brush through here some green and up through here like so on the east coast down to Florida like that so that's what we're going to do and then the middle is going to go like in right here in the, de the desert right there it takes a lot of patience to do the um the lettering in between with the black and now we're going to do the lettering with the green and uh, you almost have to just drop it on there make sure your brushes when you clean after you clean it it's pretty well dry of the solution where your paint will stick will stick to your brush so you can drop it on like so so I've got a lot of work cut out for me in the lettering itself so we got the uh, name in there uh, War of the Worlds and uh, we used a number five uh, slash zero brush it says uh, Cornwall 7850 spotter and uh, went very carefully dropping the paint in so the War of the Worlds um, model is all done and uh, I think it came out pretty good and here's a side view of it um, and here's the plaque with the glow-in-the-dark paint and the United States down there. I left the post gray. I didn't paint it. Didn't have to. And uh, on the bottom, it's got the three lenses there. I'm sorry. Sometimes I do that. It's aggravating, I know. And uh, here's a top view of it. And uh, if you get any, like, overspray on your lenses, take a Q-tip with a little, little acetone, just lightly dab it, and that'll, and it'll take a cotton ball and wipe it away. I have to still um, clear coat this, and I clear coat it in future. And thanks for watching. Please rate, subscribe, share, and ring the little notification bell to the right here. And have a great day.